Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 18C. The question says, create a new report showing all the data for all the cars in stock made by Audi, BMW or Mercedes. Hide all labels, all the labels and data for the, for the ID, valet and P date fields from the report. Hide the P price data but not the title by setting a black background so it's all about hiding data in the report now before we can um, create the report we have to create a query okay so and the, the query will be, will be based on task 18b because i've already um explored and found out that this is where i have the p date okay field okay so you can also do that so i already have them um, the link of this file will be in the description so you can download this file and then put and tag along okay thank you very much so I'm going to, by, by virtue of selecting this, I'm going to go to create and then of course query wizard. I'm going to create a query based on that table. So okay, that's so of course the, the, the table is already here. So if it's not here, you can always browse, look for it down here. Okay, so I need all the data here. So I'll next that. I need details, yes. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call uh, this uh, query I'm going to end it with uh, maybe something like that, something suggestive so I can remember that this query was created for task 18, uh, for task 18C. So I'm going to just give it a, a suggestive name just to remember. Okay, so cars task 18B, of course, so at the end task 18C, just to remember. So I'll modify the query because I'm still going to, you know, query that. Table. So, I've already I'll create that the query and then be able to um, filter that based on Audi. So I'm going to have Audi or BMW. Let me just write something. Uh, it's not case sensitive. I don't know why I like just writing the way it is. The BMW or um, what else? Mercedes Benz. Sorry, just Mercedes, please. Not Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Mercedes, please. Am I right? Yes. So just ensure that the spellings are correct. Okay. Good. So I'll run that. So this report here now, I'm going to use this to now create my report. All right. So this is what we we'll have as our query. Okay. So I'm going to save that. So I'm going to use this table now. This uh, table that is a query table to now create the report. Okay, so I'll probably close it and then go to create. And then uh, from uh, the report uh, section, I'm going to have report wizard. I need to create this report based on the query. Which query is that? Uh, the one I just created, okay, which is this one. So, what I need, I need all the data, all the fields right there. So, next that. I don't need to stop anything in the form. So another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have this as a landscape, which is the orientation. Make sure that uh, this is checked in. All right, so we nest that. Um, I'm going to modify, um, so I click on modify. First of all, I'm going to change this to report. So sorry, I'm going to change the name to report just to remember which is which. Okay, mm, and I'm going to change this to I'm going to change this to query. So it is based on a query. Query 18t underscore 18t. All this I'm doing just to remember because I may refer to this file. So just to remember. So I'll okay that. Okay. Good. So uh, this is what we need. First of all, what I want to do, I want to go to the layout view. I want to actually arrange all the data so that everything will be visible. Okay. So um, normally we've done we've done this before. Okay. So I'll just put down my control key, start adjusting all the data. Hold down control key, just uh, click on the first one, hold down control key, then adjust a little bit and then move it quite a little bit. So click on this and then move it a little bit. 
then adjust this and we can go further then click on this hold down control key again and then move it just click and then drag along okay so just do the same thing for the rest of them so let me just sharply do everything before we continue just adjust a little bit move it slightly yeah of course move it also a little further yeah adjust this and everything will show the same thing with this move it a little further it's too much probably move it a little bit. good and then adjust so i like working here i like working on the layout view because it, I, it allows me to see everything immediately as i'm working on it so i'm gonna adjust this to show everything and then the valley is not showing pretty well so by the time i adjust it everything will show i can move it a little further and then move the what's it called so they have okay has these orders i'm gonna move it a little further uh, there. okay so everything is showing so by the time i go to home and then go to uh the report view everything will be showing pretty well so okay so but the question says that we should um hide uh ID, valley, and then P date. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this case is simply go to the design view. So I'm gonna go back to design view of my report. So um, I'm going to click on the heading, the page header, and then the detail. Okay, two of them. So hold down control key. You want to do that? Um, that's for the ID. So for valley, I'm gonna do the same thing, and then P date. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing and then go to property view. As you can see, you will see visible here from the format uh, tab, you will see visible. So what I'm going to do is simply to check, sorry, to select no. So they won't be visible in the report. Okay, so I'll do that. Okay, so by the time I go to my report view, okay, they won't be visible again. So the ID and the, the valley and all that, they will not be visible. Okay good so the next thing that i want to do is to look at um to hide the p price i suppose the, the p price but not the title okay so we're going to make it uh, the black background we're going to set it to black, uh, the black background so so we move um where's where is, where is, what are we talking about here um, the p price okay so this is the p price here so we're not interested in the page header we're interested in this uh, detail okay so I'm, I'm, i'll simply um select that okay mm, so i'm going to go to property view again and then i will get to um the four color i'll get to the four color and then choose black make it black okay um what else should i make black um the fuel the fuel color right there i'm going to also make it black the back color actually so i'm going to make the back color black too but so everything there will be black okay so by the time i go to my report view everything is going to be black and that is how you can do this okay so there are other ways you can you can actually do it probably by you know, programming or something like that but this is the simplest way to hide those fields and data. okay so please if you have any question any comments any addition please leave a comment down below i'll be glad to answer your questions okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye